Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a bonus love reading for my dearest Pisces. Pisces, we're going to take a look at who is your next lover and will it last? Now, this is just a huge thank you for showing my channel so much love and support over these last couple of weeks. I truly appreciate you, each and every one of you. So let's go ahead and jump right into this and see what messages, advice, and guidance come through for my lovely Pisces for their highest and greatest good. So who is Pisces next lover and will it last? Clear messages, advice, and guidance for my Pisces, please. All right, so you've got the Ace of Pentacles. All right, beautiful. They're also showing up as high priestess energy, so somebody quite spiritual. Um, I feel this person is also going to be a little bit elusive, but I feel like my Pisces, you're going to be okay with that because there is also something very grounded about them. Um, I'm hearing there's something really fantastic, or this could be like, this could be like a fantasy or a dream come true type energy. All right. What they're going to like about you is the two of swords. Some of you are bilingual. They like that. And will this connection last two of cups? You better believe it. You better believe it. You better believe it, Pisces. <laughs> Sorry, I'm playing with these cards. I got a little bit flustered there. So that is telling me, yes, this connection is going to last. And you could be dealing with a Scorpio, but more so with the Scorpio energy, Pisces. I feel like um, this is not only a connection that's going to last, it's going to be one that completely transforms your life. And of course, this person's life. So with the Ace of Pentacles, um, there's obviously a lot of potential here when you meet this person. I feel like they're very grounded. I feel like uh, they're solid, they're stable, they're secure, they're loving, and they're giving. Somebody very supportive. Um, some of you, you, you may meet this person. You may meet this person in person is what I'm getting. This is somebody, who, this is somebody um, who's going to give you gifts is what I'm seeing. This is a gift from the universe, Pisces. Somebody here might have a background in science is what I'm getting. Weird message there. Yeah, this person's hardworking. They definitely have earth in their chart, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or they just embody this energy of being stable, safe, secure. But I mean, but they're also, that's not necessarily how you see them, but that's really who they are. Somebody's hardworking, determined, stable. And the Page of Cups, they could be a little bit younger than you, Pisces, but you're definitely soulmates. I do feel this is the this person is going to make the first move, but they're going to be very sweet about it. I don't feel like this is that like bold, you know, King of Wands energy, that person with that intense eye contact who's going to come up to you and like give you chills. There's going to be something very sweet about this person. Um, and, and they might even be a little bit elusive, right? But I feel like this is going to really catch your attention. Um, they're going to be very different than, you know, than like your typical, you know, like I, I don't, I don't want to say player because I don't think this person's a player at all. Um, there's just something very sweet and very grounded about them, but there's also something just very special with that high priestess energy that, that you're going to just like want to get to know more about them. The word I'm looking for is intriguing. Wow, double high priestess energy. So this person could also be a Pisces or a Cancer. Um, you're going to really connect with that sort of dreamy, dreamy energy. I also think you two are both going to be quite discreet. And I think you're going to really appreciate that. Um, but that doesn't mean, you know, st stuffy or, you know, or anything like that or hold back with each other at all. But I see you two really... When you meet, it's like you're going to immediately have this little bubble around you. The whole rest of the world is going to drop away. <laughs> um, oh, it just feels, it feels almost like really unexpected here. Very watery energy, very earthy energy. Let's see. What else do my Pisces need to know about this connection? Yeah. I think this is your, this is most likely a connection that you're, is meant to last or your life partner. This is somebody who's deeply committed to your connection. They're strong and they can be counted on to have your back. Yeah. This is somebody, they only have eyes for you. And I, I'm kind of getting love at first sight here, Pisces. Yeah. This person is strong. They're a leader, even if they're a bit younger. Okay. They, I feel like they've done quite well for themselves. Um, 
this person is comfortable taking charge. So they are going to be, they are going to make the first move is what I'm getting with that page of cups, but they're going to do it in a way that isn't like, it's not, they don't come on too strong. It's like, it just feels perfect to be honest. Um, they could be in a management role. They're comfortable taking charge. They're confident. They're confident in their decisions and Scorpio energy. I mean, we have the death card right here. So a lot of you are Scorpio, maybe another Pisces or Cancer, or you might have Pisces placements. They might share that Pisces placement with you. We also see Taurus energy. So that's the earth energy I've been picking up on. So they're stable. They enjoy aesthetics and comfort. They're ruled by Venus. They're loyal. They're kind. They can be stubborn. I feel like also this person is very well put together. Even if they have like a, like a more of like a free style, a free spirited style, um, this person, like, you know, if they have, if they wear accessories, they're on point. If they dress casually, they're on point. Like, I just feel you're going to really, you're going to really like the way this person presents themselves, the way they dress. And I do feel they like nice things and they work hard for those nice things as well. Okay. Um, I'm also getting, you both could be very highly creative. Okay. This high priestess energy, they're very intriguing, um, I feel you're going to be quite taken aback by this person. Okay, we do see that there may be some other involvements here, Pisces, um, when you meet this person. But I, I don't think that if there are, I don't think that they're going to last. And actually, I feel like this person probably gets a lot of attention. Like you might even have a friend who was also crushing on this person. Or like, I feel like this person makes quite an impression when they walk in the room, but not like in that King of Wands type of way. And I know I'm using tarot speech, but like not in like this fiery type of way, but in the, wow, wait, who's that? <laughs> in, a, in a low key way. All right. But do be aware there may be some other involvements when you meet. For some of you, this person wears braids. Okay. These are very specific messages physical attributes that aren't going to resonate with all my lovely Pisces out there, but that's okay. And they may have curly hair. Okay. And we see they're going to be taller than average. All right. So again, if though, if that's not your person and you know who I'm talking about, and some of you, you don't, because again, this is your next lover, the next person you're going to be with. Um, but like I said, I'm reading for a lot of you. And if it doesn't resonate, um, doesn't mean it's not your reading. Okay. All right, let's see how else. I'm sorry, I'm like a little bit, I'm like a little flabbergasted over here. This person's energy is very powerful. Um, it's like, it's dreamy energy. It's like very dreamy, very powerful energy. All right, so this person has a personal pride for their collectibles. Okay, so I do feel like it could be something that they wear, whether it's hats or sneakers or watches or, or something like that. Um, they wear a meaningful accessory, yeah. Okay, so again, I do feel this person wears accessories. I know that's a weird message, but it, it could be jewelry, it could be rings, it could be bracelets, um, it, you know, it could be hats, watches. All right, they grew up in a better than average household, okay? And they're gonna come into your life when you least expect it. Yeah, I do feel, I, I actually feel this is gonna be something that is more in person than, than necessarily an online connection, okay? Um, this person may have a severe allergy as well. I am getting something more along the lines of like hay fever, um, but yeah. All right, and let's see what else we need to know about this person. Clear messages, advice, and guidance for my Pisces about this person. Okay, yeah, this person has nice things, luxury car, houses, and they've worked hard for that, although it does seem like they may come from, you know, like a, a better than average background. Yeah, they're an earth sign, there it is. So there's that Taurus energy coming through, Virgo or Capricorn, but we're seeing really strong Taurus, so most likely a Taurus sun for a lot of you. And this is somebody who's stable, they're balanced, they're authentic, and... Um, at the bottom of the deck, we get we get eye color, brown or hazel eyes, and then we also get hair color. They might have some gray in their hair. Uh, we see red, pink, blue, purple, burgundy, or mixed color. Some of you, this person is like quite creative, so they might have funky hair color, or maybe they did at one point in time in their life, or maybe they switch up their hair color. Okay. What they're going to really like about you, some of, especially those of my Pisces who are bilingual, they're going to, they're going to really like that. They're going to be really wowed by that. 
They also like that you hold back because I actually feel Pisces, a lot of you, you know, I kind of feel like I, I keep getting this message like you might go out with friends and you might have some friends that are crushing on this person, but this person's the one that's crushing on you. Okay, that's a really, really specific message, not for all of you. Um, but they like that you hold back. They like that you're not like, because like I said, there's this energy of discretion between the two of you. So they, they also like that you're just not like out there, like, you know, out there loud in, in, the, in the spotlight all the time, needing attention, needing the spotlight all the time. Yeah, we get the sun card here. Yeah, because you, it looks like you get a lot of attention and they see you as super sexy and attractive, but it's like you don't need it. And again, you might kind of be the, the Pisces out there that kind of lets your friends step up and take the lead. Or maybe you have a really loud friend that you're with all the time that, you know, they know you with or something like that. Um, or your group of friends are like more like boisterous and loud, but you're the one that kind of like hangs back. So they're also, they're just seeing that Pisces high priestess energy that they really like and they find very attractive, very alluring. And yeah, they love that Pisces watery energy. They see you as super romantic. Um, they see you as very dreamy. They also find you to be really mysterious. And I feel like um, this is going to be a very passionate connection. But I, I do feel like you, know, I'm not, you both might be a little bit shy. Okay, I feel like there's going to be kind of a build up here. Like a lot of, uh, if you will, sexual tension before you two, you know, get together. Um, like quite a bit of a build up, you know, so it feels like you're around this person in some capacity, Pisces, work, school, the gym, your favorite bar club, restaurant, a lot of you at somewhere you go with friends is where you're going to meet this person. All right, what they love about you, my goodness, they're going to see you as this Messiah energy. So some of you, they like, you know, they like that you're spiritual, that you, you know, that you share the same faith or that you have faith. Um, but they also see you as serving humanity with humility. I also, I think they're going to see you interacting with other people, whether it's friends and family or whatever it might be. They see that you're always good to people. You're always kind to people. You're always helping people. Okay. So this person is observing you in some way, Pisces. And again, that spiritual energy comes through really strong. Look at that. We get Messiah, priest, monk, or nun. Um, but they also like the way you talk. So a lot of my Pisces, like you may not talk a whole lot, but when you do, it's quite profound or they really like what it is that you have to say here. So Pisces, I do think that this is going to be a long-term connection here with the Two of Cups. Um, this is telling me that it's meant to be, but let's see if we get any other messages. Yeah, it's safe to make the move. You're considering Spirit saying take a leap of faith here. I actually think you're both going to take a leap of faith here. Um, I'm actually seeing you getting married there might even be a quick wedding or like a Vegas wedding here for some of you. All right, forgiving yourself or another will help you move forward. So this is going to be a transformative relationship that's going to help you here and uh, sorry, heal and clear karma. And um, yeah, everything happens for a reason. You two may be a little bit addicted to each other. Okay, so just be aware of that. You know, I. I feel like it's going to be so intense when you two actually do get together and you do hook up. Like I'm getting this energy of like, you know, friend, you're going to go MIA with, you know, for friends and family, you know, be, can't keep your hands off of each other, you know, disappear for a weekend or, you know, just, yeah. So just don't lose yourselves, Pisces. I, but I feel like it might be a little bit hard not to, because this is, this feels like twin flame energy. All right, let's see. Anything else my Pisces need to know? Yeah, an old flame return. So for some of you, you might know who I'm talking about. Now, this is who is your next lover. So it, it doesn't necessarily mean you haven't made love to them before, okay, or you haven't had any sort of interaction. So for some of you, you, you do know exactly who I'm talking about. And please let me know in the comment section down below if you do. This is karmic justice. And a lot of you, you're going to meet this person with friends, all right? And this is somebody you have real feelings for that are worth exploring. Um, and rekindle energy. I mean, not for all of you. Is it going to be somebody you know? Again, you need to trust your intuition. I've given you a lot of information about who this person might be. So if it sounds like somebody you know, well, then, yeah, it really could be them. 
But if it doesn't sound like anybody you know or you've dealt with in the past, that rekindle energy can certainly indicate that you have a past life soul connection because Pisces, this is going to be intense, okay? And let's see, can we get important dates for my Pisces about when this might happen? June. Okay, that's a long ways away. So that could also be someone's birthday. It could be that you met this person back in June. Spirit saying stop trying to control the timing. Oh, yeah, because we got this person will come into your life when you least expect it. Um, Spirit saying it is going to happen this year for the vast majority of you. But when we get these types of messages, the messages are going to bounce around all over the place. So I'm not going to pull any more cards there. But Pisces, please drop me a comment. Let me know if you like this video. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Um, if you're after a private reading, um, take a look at the description box down below as, as well as my links to TikTok and Instagram. Love and light, my lovely Pisces. Take care.